Hello, I'm Victoria and in this video I'll answer the question I bought a domain, now what? You will learn all the steps you need to take after buying a domain name. Let's go! A domain name acts as your address on the internet, helping people find your site. But there are various reasons why people buy a domain name. Many large-scale companies buy additional domain names to prevent people from going to the wrong website if they mistype the primary domain name. For example, Google's primary domain name is google.com. However, you will still reach the correct website if you mistype it, for example, something like this. People can also buy domain names as an investment. It works similarly to stocks. You can purchase domain names and sell them at a higher price. But the most common reason people buy domain names is to build their websites. It's one of the first steps to take when starting an online journey. However, having a domain name doesn't give you a fully functional website. If you bought a domain and wondering now what? Continue watching as I'll go through all the steps to build a website after securing your domain name. After buying a domain, the next step is finding a website hosting plan. Web hosting is a service that lets you store website files on the server and make them accessible online. Choosing a reliable hosting provider is essential as it can affect your website's performance, security and loading speed. Not only that, but choosing the right hosting plan is also important. At Hostinger, we offer shared hosting, VPS, cloud hosting and WordPress hosting plans. To know more about each option and choose the best hosting plan for your website, watch our Hostinger Web Hosting Plans Explained Guide. Now, purchasing the plan is really simple. First, go to Hostinger's website and choose the plan that you prefer. I'll use the premium shared hosting plan. After adding it to the cart, we can sign up using an existing Google, Facebook or GitHub account or insert your email address to create a new one. Choose your desired payment method and don't forget to use the coupon code HE10 for 10% discount. Once the payment is completed, you can log in to your Hostinger account to access your HPanel. Now, if you bought a domain name from your web hosting provider, you can skip this step. But if you bought a domain name and hosting plan from different providers, you need to point the domain to your hosting account. If you don't, your website won't be accessible to visitors. So let me show you how to point your domain to Hostinger. On the H panel, click the Manage button that is right next to your hosting plan. Once the new window loads, look at the left side of the dashboard. You will find Hostinger's name servers there. Copy that information. If you use another provider, you can usually find the name server information on your account details. After that, log in to your domain registrar control panel on another tab. Locate the DNS configuration, then delete all values from the name server fields if there are any. Now paste hostingers on your web hosting provider's name servers. All set, now we save the changes. Quite simple, right? After completing the steps, keep in mind that the changes may take up to 24 hours to propagate. To check if the process is complete, go to whatsmydns.net and input your domain name. Then choose NS from the drop-down menu. Hit the search button to see DNS status. If it doesn't change to the new named servers within 24 hours, contact your provider's customer support team. Now you can start building your website. There are several ways to do it, coding it yourself, hiring a developer, but the most popular options are using Website Builder or Content Management System, as they make the website building process much easier. Once you have a platform in mind, make sure it's compatible with your web hosting account. If you use Hostinger, the process is very simple. Log into your H panel and select Auto Installer on the website section, then select your preferred CMS. However, if your provider doesn't provide this feature, you can install it manually. You will need an FTP client or file manager to download the software and copy its file to the hosting account. Once the software is set up, you can finally start customizing the website. First, you should choose a theme. WordPress has thousands of options available for different types of websites. If you need help choosing one, watch our review of the 10 best WordPress themes. To install a theme, go to Appearance and then select Themes. 
then click on add new. You can either scroll through the options or use the search bar to find a specific theme. Once you made the choice, click install. You can also browse other theme marketplaces and download the theme zip file. If you've found the one you want to use, go to add themes page and click upload theme. Once you install it, activate to switch from default theme to the new one. You may also install WordPress plugins to improve your website's performance. Go back to WordPress admin dashboard, go to plugins and select add new. Once you find the desired plugin, click install now. Or if you have already downloaded, click upload plugin and select corresponding zip file. Activate the plugin. Creating an email address with the new domain name will make your brand look more professional and trustworthy. Using free email services to send marketing or promotional emails also increases their chances of ending up in your recipient junk or spam folder. So I highly recommend creating custom email addresses with your new domain. Generally, this service is included in your hosting plan. Now I will show you how to easily create a custom email address via HPanel. Go to your H panel, then go to Email section and click Email Accounts. Select the hosting account or domain name. Click Add Email Account, enter an email address and password, then click Create. Search engines use web crawlers to find new and updated content online, meaning that they don't rely on manual submissions to find new websites. But submitting your site gives it a better chance of appearing on the result pages. To do that, we just need to follow a few simple steps. Create an XML sitemap of your website. To do this, you can use an SEO plugin like Yoast SEO or Online Sitemap Generator. Then you need to submit the XML sitemap. The steps differ on each search engine, but I'll show you how to submit your site to Google Search Console. Log in to Google Search Console with your Google account. Select Domain, navigate to the Sitemaps section and insert your sitemap URL in the Add New Sitemap section. You only need to submit a sitemap again when you change the website's pages and structure. Doing it multiple times won't speed up the process or improve site ranking. SEO requires constant effort and consistency, as it won't bring overnight success. However, it's an excellent way to improve your website's visibility and increase conversion rates. To start optimizing your website, I recommend Optimize PageSpeed. Use tools like GT Metrics or Google PageSpeed Insights to test your website's speed and get suggestions on how to improve it. Make the website mobile-friendly. As more and more people browse the internet on mobile devices, mobile-friendly websites will rank higher. Write relevant meta titles and descriptions. Make them engaging, showing users what your content is about and improving your click-through rate. Secure your website. Google prioritizes pages that use HTTPC. Installing an SSL certificate on your site will enable this protocol. Create high-quality content. Plugins like Yoast SEO can help you make your content SEO-friendly. Now that your website is ready, it's time to build awareness and generate traffic helping you gain leads and maximize profit. There are several ways to promote your website, but here are my recommendations. Social media marketing. Social media platforms provide many opportunities to interact with your target audience. Adapt your strategies to each platform as they have different audiences and features. Adding social media widgets to the site also makes it easier for new customers to follow you and share content on their profiles. Email marketing. Email marketing is an effective way to increase conversion rates and keep visitors informed. You can adopt several strategies like sending newsletters, retention or promotional emails, or running acquisition campaigns. Plugins like MailChimp and Optin Monster can help you generate and manage email marketing campaigns. Paid advertising. Paid advertising usually adopts pay-per-click or in short PPC model, meaning you will get billed for every click on your ads. If you are willing to invest in this strategy to promote your site, you can use paid advertising services like Google Ads. I highly recommend trying paid advertising if you have enough quality content on your website. That way, your website will be ready to receive traffic from the paid ads, increasing the chances of turning these new visitors into customers. So you bought a domain name, now what? Let's recap all the steps you can take after buying a domain name. 
get a web hosting plan, point the domain name to your hosting account, set up a website, install a theme and plugins to customize it, create custom email addresses with your new domain, submit your new website to search engines, and finally promote the website. If you have any questions regarding domain names or website building, let me know in the comment section below. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Good luck and see you next time!